Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian, and today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. I didn't do a guide the last season because uh, I didn't see any like really improvement that you can make if you compare with my last guide, but now I have a couple of new stuff that we can do to tweak your game. So first of all, we will start with the game mode. Right game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. Uh, you will lose FPS and it's causing stuttering. Also, Xbox Game Bar, make sure that it's at off. And also, all those capture background recording uh, at off and recorded audio at off. Another thing really important to say, don't use any overlay. So, uh, remove your Discord overlay, NVIDIA overlay, whatever overlay that you're currently using. Uh, you will always like lose FPS and also it can cause stuttering. Uh, now... Uh, we can talk about driver. Make sure that you update your latest driver. So if you have NVIDIA, go on the NVIDIA website. Make sure you have the latest one. Same thing with AMD. And also really important, if you have an integrated video card and you're using uh, Intel, make sure that you have the latest driver because Intel are releasing driver for their integrated video card. So really important to make the update. Another thing that you can't uh, do is for uh, Windows 10. If you have the latest version, the 2004, I think right now it's just working with NVIDIA video card, but it's probably coming really soon with AMD and probably even Intel. Uh, write GPU in your search and you ha will have a new option called graphic setting. Click on it. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. After that you did that, you will need to restart your computer uh, to, to make sure that it's working. And uh, I have a dedicated video on explaining like why you should use it. Uh, you will, Normally you will see like a 2 to 3% boost in your FPS on an entry level or even mid-range computer. But if you have like an high-end computer, you will not see any change for now. One more thing for the game, uh, go where you install the game and write .exe and use the fourth one, the one with the 168 meg. Right click on it, click properties, go to compatibility, make sure disable full screen optimization is check, and also make sure that override IDPI is check. Uh, really important, if you're currently using the D DirectX 11 API, if you're using the Direct, uh, DirectX uh, 12 beta in uh, Fortnite, don't use that, uh, it's uh, DirectX 12 uh, did those optimization, so it doesn't change anything for you guys. So now we will go inside of the game and I will show you what to tweak. So now inside of the game, so first of all, window mode, make sure that you using full screen, don't use the window full screen one, you will lose FPS, so it's, it's the borderless. Uh, so make sure that you're using full screen. Resolution really depend on your monitor. I mean, I'm playing 1080p. If you're playing 1080p and after that, after all my guide, you're still struggling with your FPS, I recommend the 720p uh, resolution. So pretty much this one over there. So just switch it and it will help you a lot with your FPS. Frame limit, I'm, I, re I recommend to limit it with your uh, number of Hertz on your monitor. So if you have a 60 Hertz screen, go with 60 FPS. If you have a 144 uh, Hertz screen, go with 144 FPS. I don't use unlimited because when you put, for example, your GPU at unlimited, it will render unlimited FPS and uh, your uh, usage will be at 100% and you will create more heat in your computer. So if you don't have, like, have a really good computer with like fans and stuff like that, uh, you can cause throttle on your whatever CPU or even GPU because you want to render unlimited fr frame rate. So uh, that's why I limited it and I make sure I don't generate more heat in my computer. In my case, it doesn't change anything, but if you're playing on the laptop, it can change uh, a lot of stuff. So that's about it for the frame rate over there. Let's go to the 3D resolution. Uh, you need to play at 100. You can lower this. This is pretty much last resort. Don't go under 90. Uh, so if you want to touch it, because after that, you everything goes blurry. You will see pixel and stuff like that. So don't go too, cra too crazy with this one. View distance, I really like to play this one at medium, uh, far and like you're losing 4-5% to 5 for each bracket. Medium is a good spot because medium versus near, you will lose 2% over there. So you will see further and uh, in the battle royale, it's kind of important to see. So don't go with near, go with medium. Shadow, pretty much the same thing. This one is the biggest uh, boost uh, in all those parameters. So if I compare Epic to I, you're gaining like 5%, another 5% with medium, and when you remove it, it's 6%. 
why I'm using medium because I really need to see the shadow when I'm playing sometimes I want to know if like an enemy is in the whatever house or whatever and uh, when you go at off you don't see any shadow so that's a bit tricky uh, if you're playing on a laptop stuff like that pretty you probably need to put this one at off it will help you a lot to get more stable FPS anti-aliasing I'm using off I don't like anti-aliasing in those kind of game. I feel like the game is a little bit blurry, so that's why I'm putting it off. And also, you're getting 3% for each bracket, so put this one at off. If you don't like seeing like line breaking uh, like uh, near uh, the object, uh, probably you will need to put this one at medium or even I just do some tests. Texture, epic. Uh, so if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM on your GPU, go with epic. If you have 3 gig, go with I have 2 gig with medium. And if you have less than 2 gig, go with low. Effect and post processing, those one I'm putting those one at off. It's 2% for each bracket. If you're getting like stuttering when you're fighting and you see that your effect is at high, it's probably because of that. So put this one at low and it will help you a lot. Vsync, you want to put this one at off. You don't want any input lag. Motion blur. Normally, you don't play with motion blur when you play a competitive game, so that's why I'm putting that off. If you want to see your shadow, uh, if you want to see your FPS without using any overlay, go with on. Direct X version. I did a couple of text, uh, tests. Sorry, uh, 11 versus 12. 12 is a bit weird. I'm getting sometimes more FPS, but I I feel like I have a couple of stuttering. Sometimes I'm getting crash also. That's why right now I'm still using DirectX 11. For me, it's the most stable version. Allo multi-thread rendering. So this one, put this one at on if you have 6 core and 12 threads and more. So if you have, for example, the 8 core, 16 thread, go with on. If you have less than that, go with off. Uh, because of like the, the four, um, 4 core and 8 thread. Just go with off, it will cause you issue. So you really want to have more than 6 core and 12 uh, thread. If you don't know how many you have, you can uh, press Ctrl Alt Delete. You will have uh, the information in your CPU section. Or just write on Google the name of your CPU with the brand, so Intel or AMD. And uh, it's pretty easy, you will see uh, all the specs from your CPU. Use GPU crash uh, debugging, make sure this one is at off. You will lose a, a bit of a performance with this one at on. After that, go with settings, scroll down, make sure that replays, everything is at the off, really important, causing also stuttering. Same thing with the NVIDIA Ally, don't use it, put this one at off, really important. The last thing that you will need to change, again, really depend, after all my guide, if you're getting your 60 FPS without any problem, don't touch that. But it's more like for like very old computer, uh, laptop, I have a old um, Dell um, XPS, and uh, it's struggling a lot, a lot when I play uh, Fortnite. When I put the sound quality, it helps my like my frame rate, and also it helps uh, the, the the game itself. I, I'm getting like a lot less stuttering. So this one is really important. If you have like a low end CPU or a very old CPU, put this one at low. So that's about it, guys, for the guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.